All right, guys, MTG and me, this is Charles with a $35 random buy. I saw this ad on Kijiji, and the guy basically had a picture of a couple of these boxes and this dragon hide binder, which has been damaged by sunlight in a car, with the first page open. Um, and he was asking $40, so I went over and saw it. I gave a quick flip through the binder. There's a couple of good things in there, right? Sleever Hive and Chandra. And, uh, Despite the fact that the binder is all super warped from the heat, the cards are actually in great shape. So yeah, based on basically what's in the binder, I said, okay, we got it for $35. And this will be the first time I'm looking at it. So you'll be surprised with me. So all right, let's start with one of these boxes here. Maybe the fat pack box. Uh, good chance this is just straight up Zendikar versus Eldrazi dual decks. Yeah, Avenger of Zendikar. And looks complete. So yeah, this will be the Eldrazi deck. I don't think we need to look at this. Just make sure Oblivion Sower's in here, I guess. Oh, Eldrazi Temple. Yeah, I forgot about that. And there's our Oblivion Sower. Infinite Obliteration. Helm of the Gods, Foil Unholy Hunger. Yeah, oh sweet, Knight of the White Orchid. I actually only have a couple of those. The Wasteland Strangler, and a Priest of the Blood Rite. This one's look a little more beat up, a little bit older, so probably not in pack order. Yeah, this looks like it might be a deck. Ooh, Sanguine Bond. Ooh, a second copy, Sanguine Bond. Uh, third copy of Sanguine Bond. Do we got a fourth one? Nope, we stop at three. Still pretty neat. I've always wondered if we should just give these kind of decks a try. When I find them in lots I buy, like clearly decks that were built and constructed, if we should give them a play. If you guys think we should give them a shot, then uh, feel free to leave a comment below and maybe we'll do that in the future. Might actually be a deck here too. I see a lot of red, blue, dark steel citadel, and soul artifact. Not bad. This is a deck that was pretty uh, janky. Oh, there's a foil siege dragon. Mage ring responder. Oh, PN key. Nice. A uh, hoarding dragon. Another in soul artifact. Last part of the fat pack looks like another deck here. Let's see what we got. Blur Sliver, Predatory Sliver. Ooh, Mana Weft Sliver. Megantic Sliver. Ooh, Nykthos, Shrine to Nyx, nice. Another Nykthos, nice. Another Mana Weft. Another Mana Weft. Seems like a fun, casual Sliver deck. Original Zendikar Forest. All right, let's go on to box number two. All right, so barring the glare in the back there, this looks like it's a lands box. There's a heavily, heavily played Galvanic Blast. Ooh, a Rite of Flame. Another Galvanic Blast. Definitely some well-loved cards here. So I got a Snow-Covered Plains from Cold Snap. Yes, yeah, so this box was mostly lands, and yeah, I got some dice in there, a couple cards out of it. All right, on to box number three. Foil Hive Stirrings. Foil Common. So Foil Common. Foil common. 
the heck is this? Oh, I found a rare piece of cat food in the box, so that's something. Oh, Brindlebore. I like the Brindlebore. Looks like this is pretty much all commons. Might be something in here, so we'll take a quick look anyway. Yeah, heavily played foil bone saw. There we go. Foil maze sentinel. All right, onto the binder. The moment of truth. We get to open up this warped. You wouldn't believe how warped this thing is. Dragon hide binder. Uh, like I said, I checked the cards in here, and they're fine. So like we start with yeah, like a foil woodland bellower. That's like five bucks. Uh, we got a Yavi Maya coast in here. Uh, Chandra Fire Kaladesh, a Sleever Hive, Stryonic Resignator, Foil Goblin Glory Chaser, that's good. Got a Goblin War Driver in here. Oh, Vandal Blast, Commander Staple, Battlefield Forge, just one. Jace's Sanctum, oh, Sphinx's Tutelage. Simic Charm? Is it Charm? Yes, it is. The Chancellor of the Annex. I don't know if that's any good. It's an expensive angel. Um, then we got a Foil Victories Herald, a White Sun Zenith. This is good Cat Tribal now. Uh, Champion of the Parish. Oh, Sigil of the Empty Throne. That's good too. Reverend Hunter. Ooh, Ghoul Tree. I love this card. 10 10 Zombie Tree Folk for 7 and a green. Oh, another mana weft sliver. A lot of Sen Gear vampires in here. Darksteel Ingot, not bad. Whisper Silk Cloaks, okay, I guess. Talisman of Unity. Most of the talismans are alright. That's probably one of the less valuable ones. Oh, yes. Mishra's Bauble. A little bit beat up, but uh, hey, Mishra's Bauble. A foil dragon's claw some shrines yeah another copy <laughs> there's two of them they are well played but there are two so that's pretty awesome anything else in here stand out we got a nightmare those are the intro pack rare or not the intro pack rares the um deck builder toolkit rares yeah terra stomper Jin. oh dragon tempest the fun casual card oh taziger yeah, sweet. And he doesn't look like he was played at all, really. Aegis of the Gods. I'm about to take all these out of this super warped binder later. Yeah, the rest of these pages look like they're just stuck together from the heat. And there's no cards in them. Well, that's it. That's the collection. Uh, I think it came out okay. Got a couple Mishra's bobbles, so those are the big hitters. All right. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, you can help us by clicking that like button and leaving a comment. And to support the channel, please click that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks for watching.